Kevin and Bean. I did Kevin and Bean. And they had they were gonna have Dana on the next day. And one of the things they were gonna talk about was that the UFC's ratings, I believe, or profits or ratings, ratings are, are down fifty five percent. Correct. Which is pretty much of a disaster. Mm-hmm. And they were gonna ask him about it. Now I don't know if and I, I think that a lot of what we talk about, which is you have these up and coming stars and you throw them to the wolves so early. That's not it. That you that you don't create That's not it. Stars. That's only that's I think that's only if you're bald so deep in what the sport. Is it? Um, so did he go on Kevin? What's this? Have to I don't Kevin know what he Bean? said, but, I, but so I, did he not go on Kevin Bean? He did go on Kevin Bean. I don't know. Did what they he ask said. him? I, I doubt I, it. I think they did ask him because they Bring told that, me that, that they told me that they were going to ask him until they get in and front they, of him, and, or he looks at the question and goes, "That ain't happening." Okay. There's no well, way he's going to speedball see. that. I'd, I'd be interested to see that. Kevin yes. Bean, Dana White. Yeah, he's at 55. percent Well, I, I mean, just put no, just no, you don't need that specific. Just but I, I want to see what he says because. Um, just put Kevin and Bean. Yeah. Was it recent? Yeah. That's August. This was literally, it should have been last Wednesday or something. Last, yeah. It should have been a week ago. Let me look at their Mm. iTunes. Um... Uh, you know, I did. I, I, that, the, who is responsible for that? And, and no one, everyone, what? It's the it's their business plan. I, I think they have a lot of great fighters. As a matter of fact, they have more. You know, they're more loaded with talent than they've ever been before. Mm-hmm. But they don't have the. You know, w- without Ronda or Brock or you know, freaking uh, Conor McGregor, the, you don't have those huge you know pop culture streaming numbers or pay per view numbers. So. You know, but as far as talent wise, they're stacked, man. It, it's a, it's a, it's more of a product of an old business model, which is pay per view. You have all these, all this free content these days. You know, so whether you're paying for, you know, whatever Direct TV, Dish Network, Comcast, and then you're paying for a streaming service with Netflix, Hulu, and then we're gonna ask you with this pay per view model to fucking pay another sixty dollars a month to watch fights. I think it's just people like no. The World Cup's on, or the NBA Finals were on, or the NFL yeah. playoffs are on, or I can go see a live performance. I think there's too much free content out there to charge $60 yeah. to watch this now. Right. Unless, it's, unless you have a huge star. And that, that you know, that, that's, that's their bad business model. I think it's an old school business model. I think, you know, and also there's illegal streaming now. Yeah. Which you know very well about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Every UFC, you're like, dude, I don't you know. have a link. I'm like, dude, come on. I don't on. know what the fuck you're talking <laughs> about. But the illegal streaming, I think, changes the game, too, because kids all, kids my age, kids younger go, pay per view? $60? It's why would I? Well, also, like, why would I do that? $95. There's an illegal sometimes. link right here. I'm just going to click on it. I want you my. They don't give a fuck about they cause and also you gotta remember they know the UFC's fucking over the fighter. The other thing So that, they're like, hold up, fighters aren't seeing a fucking dime of this. We're not hurting them, you know? Well, when I buy the pay per view on my iPad, I better be watching it. I, I can't record it. I have to be watching it live. You mm. can't you can't record it for later on. So that's another problem. Well. Wow. And it's still sixty five. It was actually ninety five bucks for me at one point. What? No, I can't remember. It was, no, it was something crazy. Ne- never ninety five. I don't think ninety five. No, there were two different. The highest prices. they do it's either it's either <clears throat> fifty four ninety five or sixty nine ninety five. I think for HD or something like that. Yeah, that's what I got. Or fifty nine ninety five for HD. Yeah. But either way, um, and they increased the price. So I, I again, I just hold. There you go. Fuck. Told you. Hold up. 91 bucks. Pay-per-view HD plus 50% off six-month UFC Fight Pass. Well, yeah. you can, that's a special deal. Mm. So originally it's yeah, 64 99 But that's yeah. them just trying so to give you, that's them bucks, trying to hang on to bucks. Fight Pass because they have ESPN Plus coming out, which you got to pay even more money for. Mm. So I just think, especially with 18 to 24-year-old males, bucks for I just think 18 to 24-year-old males are like, wait. I'll just illegally stream this shit. If I am into it, most of them I don't think. I think I'd imagine the numbers are down for a younger audience. Hmm. There's just too much good content out there, man. Yeah. But it's a shame, you know. I I want them to do well, and the big fights are still doing well. It's gonna be interesting to see how UFC two two twenty six does. Yeah, that's wise. gonna be a big, big one to tell. But like DC, Stipe, they've never been like huge draws unless they're facing, you know, a much bigger name. Max Holloway, Brian Ortega, they've never been big pay-per-view stars. Yeah. 
Francis Ngannou, not a big pay-per-view star, black piece. So when people think this can do over 800, I, I don't think so. Well, they, they, they remember when um, they were talking about who is a movie star and who is who can open a movie. This is back in like 2000. Mm -hmm. And the list is so small when you actually ask, when you look at numbers and you look at actors who are actual draws, not people who star in movies. Oh, like Leonardo DiCaprio? Very few. Like Johnny I couldn't Depp. believe how few. For example, back then, this is 19, this is 2000, I think. And uh, they were like, the guy, this is a big producer, a big time uh, executive at Warner Brothers. And, he, and they were like, well, there's Morgan Freeman. He goes, he goes, hold it. He goes, Morgan Freeman's not a movie star. As in, doesn't Morgan bring Freeman's a movie to the star. Theater. Bring people to the theater. Puts we were all butts like, and seats. We were like, and I was like, whoa, 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 what? Don't say that. He goes, <laughs> no, he's not. I feel like that's And they gave me the list out. and it was so small. Super small. And I was that like, people are like, holy fuck, he's in it. I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that's, and that's so, so. Even for acting, like if you look at the numbers, if you look at the people who are actual draws, you all want great actors in your movies, and there are people who like movies, like you have fight fans that'll go see who knew who Brian Ortega is, and like me, I can't wait for that fight. But if you look at the large numbers, there are very few draws. Also, I hate to tell you, like especially if, you, if you've been balls in the UFC as long as I have, and we've been fans in here, you look at this card, and was like, dude, it's stacked. It's like... It's all right. Yeah. Trust me, I've seen way better. Yeah. Like it the the two fights that I think are really intriguing are Stipe, Cormier, uh Holloway, Ortega. Well no shit. Babe. That's it. Yeah. But I mean everything else is <laughs> no you know. shit. Well no, I'm saying But the but the other ones, it's not like UFC two hundred, which that card sucked, or you know, UFC two twenty four. That's what I'm saying. Like they're they they are not stacked. Yeah. But who's saying this is a stack card? Most people think it's stacked. Like this, there are two fights. I did think so too. But now you're talking about drawing power. It's true. I don't see. That, that's what I'm saying. You're talking power, about yeah. draw power. Like Stipe, yeah. Francis. You know, Stipe's never been a big. And it has nothing to do with his skills. He's yeah. the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. But he's never been a huge draw. Mm. DC. He, he's only a draw when he's fighting John, John Jones. Jones. His fight with Gusfin was not great numbers wise. Max Holloway, Brian Ortega, you know, they're, they're lighter, so it's never been huge draws. Um, then Francis Ngannou's newer, Derek Lewis, Derek Lewis, and then, you know, the rest of the guys, it's just not, it's not there. So I, I don't know. But also, with the UFC, although you, they make their money off pay-per-view, you know, you look at the Fox preliminary cards, there's good fights if you're a hardcore fight fan. If you're not, it's not great. So they're not putting any huge names on there. Remember, their deal runs out the end of the year with Fox, so... It, or they just like ah fuck Fox because I guarantee if there's ESPN they're loading that thing that's their new partner yeah so who knows man what's going on there is Paulo Costa the really muscular yeah. guy yeah yeah <laughs> you're, you're at Halls of he's the he's the dime yeah you're not gay you at remember all. that well come on <laughs> bring him up one more time Let Mike Perry fight too time. Yancey Manderos that's a phenomenal fight yeah Rob Font Osanso it's an amazing fight Ventana mm -hmm. that's he's an amazing fighter again there's great fights Paulo Paulo are there any steroids involved or no? How he passes, I have no fucking clue. I have no idea. 